Welcome to the Coast Salish Gathering. The picture you see here is a visual synthesis of the work from 2005 to 2012. It chronicles the work of the Coast Salish people as they work together to save the health of the Salish Sea. In 2005, Jamestown, Sklalem, Washington, we rekindled relationships for Coast Salish governance and established an environmental policy platform and dialogue through science and policy, culture and relationships. From Chief Seattle, all things are connected like the blood that unites us. We do not weave the web of life, we are merely a strand in it. Whatever we do to it, we do to ourselves. 2007 was Cowichan, Duncan, BC, and the theme was United. This land is a part of a living cycle that has been passed down to us. Words from Stephen Point. We discussed effective consultation and engagement. We strengthened partnerships. And we identified tools to improve coordination and communication. The work of the gathering was a policy dialogue for Coast Salish tribes and First Nations. Members of the gathering signed the deer hide as their commitment to work together for the Salish Sea. And from Billy Frank we heard, the Puget Sound is dead and that we don't have time to fight one another. Our work concluded with a conversation about what's missing. And that moves us into 2008, the work at Tulalip, Washington. We heard from many people that participated in the event, the words, I am Coast Salish. We heard the story of King Salmon, the conditions of our life as humans. And long after we are gone, the salmon will swim strong again and our children will benefit. The work of the gathering was about our mission to unify, to have one voice, and to develop a plan to protect the Salish Sea. Our objectives were to think long term, develop policies and actions, and solidify relationships and roles, and critically, to tie them to our culture. The work involves sharing common concerns to renew and make new relationships. 2009, the gathering was held at Whistler, British Columbia, and the theme of our work was Our Way. We explored the history of our work up to this point, developed a joint statement of cooperation, and listened to government perspectives. We discussed in great detail the health of the Salish Sea ecosystem. Further conversations were about the projects that have been implemented, the climate change impacts, the fish farm issue, climate-related research, and the water quality project. Other projects were the Salish Sea Stewardship Program, 13 Moons Calendar, the Squamish Nation Land Use Plan, and the best practices that have come from it. We concluded the gathering with a SWOT analysis and developed steps for constructive action. Swinomish Tribal Community was the host for the 2010 gathering themed From White Caps to White Caps, Our Sacred Responsibility. Our work must be clearly defined in the language you speak. Words from Tom Sampson. Building on 10,000 years of knowing, a co-management consultation. We explored the questions of shared decision-making and co-management. Patty Gulvin from Tulalip Tribes tells us, who we are as Coast Salish people is written in all our names. That we have a fiduciary responsibility for the Salish Sea, and to remember who we are as Coast Salish people. Elders and leaders speak teachings, laws, and protocols, responsibility and conduct, and a draft summary of goals and objectives. In 2012, we returned to Cowich and Duncan, BC, where we discussed co-management, environmental inventory and action plan, there was gifting and further discussion about water quality standards and the work of the Cohen Commission. Other projects explored were firstvoices.com, 
Health Indicators, Travel Journeys Water Quality Project, and Climate Change Adaptations. We concluded our work with a discussion about the environmental challenges facing the Salish Sea. And further, how do we continue to adapt amongst this great change that is happening? This concludes the history of the Coast Salish Gathering from 2005 to 2012. We look forward to seeing you as the Coast Salish Gathering will be held at the Swinomish Tribal Community in 2015. Thank you for listening.